God you were here. Yeah. I got so confused. It happens. Got a minute? What's up? It is quick, or I'm just gonna have this massive coronary, and then you'll never hear it, and you have to. This is by far the dumbest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, so dumb, in fact, uh, that I can't. Oh, but I'm gonna. Sure. Michael, I love you. I've loved you for nine years. I've just been too arrogant and scared to realize it. And, well, now I'm just scared. So I, I, I realize this comes at a very inopportune time, but I really have this gigantic favor to ask of you. Choose me. Marry me. Let me make you happy. <sighs> that sounds like three favors, doesn't it? That's our maid of honor. She's from New York. <gasps> tendrils of russet pleasure began their unbidden journey. She moaned. The tonnage of years of anguish, sacrifice, yes. It is well. not going well! This is what comes of telling the truth! Or even part of it! You know, getting what you memories. deserve isn't fair! Where are you? I have stolen a bread van, and I'm chasing Michael down Michigan Avenue! George, this is all your fault. I, I, I told him the truth. I said that I loved him and I kissed him, and this is what's happened. Jules, a question. When you kissed Michael, did he kiss you back? What do you mean? We were lip to lip. I mean, was there anything on the other side of that kiss that leads you to believe that this chase will end happily? That's beside the point. We were interrupted. Who interrupted you? Kimmy. She ruined everything. And Michael started chasing her before he could answer me. Michael's chasing Kimmy. Yes. You're chasing Michael. Yes. Who's chasing you? Nobody. Get it? There's your answer, Kimmy. No! Yes! Jules, you are not the one! Enough for God's sake! The wedding is at 6 p.m. You have a small but distinct window of opportunity to do the right thing. 